whoa morning i am actually getting ready to go to work it's monday and i have an internship i'm also a student so it's actually my last week till graduation so i'm really excited but while i was eating breakfast i figured it would be helpful to record a full day of eating because i always pack my lunch and take snacks and whatnot to work so i figured it can be helpful for people who are on the go because the majority of us are working so let's show you okay sorry for this horrendous lighting but first of all for breakfast i already ate it all unfortunately but i had two pieces of this sarah lee whole wheat bread 60 calories a slice and i had one banana on there i put some cinnamon on there a little bit of honey and my weakness of all time almond butter one serving of that which is two tablespoons so I had that for breakfast so it's it's peanut butter toast so toast toasted and then almond butter cinnamon banana honey one of my favorite combinations ever and like I kind of told you guys probably, I'm counting calories again, so I'm not tracking macros, so it's kind of like a weird concept to me, but I'm trying to lose some weight. So I'm gonna show you guys actually what I've written down so far. So I've only been doing it for a couple days, so I've just been writing everything out instead of using an app. So I have like breakfast, lunch, like this was over the weekend. Um, and like today I wrote like where I woke up when I what I weighed like a calorie goal I've just been putting 2300 even though you can see I've been under that um, But so for my breakfast that I just showed you I had the toast almond butter not peanut butter um, Then I put the calories next to it and then for the stuff I packed I just go ahead and wrote it down before I left so I have 3.5 ounces of tempeh one half cup brown rice I didn't write that and an RX bar um, which are not vegan, but I can explain a little bit of that later and for my snack I have protein powder milk and a Lara bar. So let me just actually show you that So I've got my lunch Right here. These are great because they're insulated So sometimes if I don't have access to a fridge for whatever reason if I'm at a school or whatever for the nature of my work my lunch won't get cold so this is the Lara bar, they're great, they're vegan. They have few ingredients, so they're great. And I'm gonna eat that with this. Oh, I just found this at Target the other day. It's a blender bottle and I have this organic milk in here, but at the bottom, let me see if you can see this. At the bottom, you can put protein in here, so this, yeah, this comes off of this, and then you can put them, so they come off, this has protein powder in it, and then you can just snap them back together. So it's very convenient. So I'm gonna eat that with the Lara bar, and then I have an RX bar, which are really great. They're not totally vegan because they have egg whites, but they have 12 grams of protein and 220 calories. There we go. And with that, I'm gonna have the only non-processed food. It's brown rice, 3.5 ounces of tempeh that I marinated in some Asian type of sauce the other day, and there's sriracha and butter spray on top, which is also not vegan. And if you don't really know me, I keep mentioning things are like not vegan, not vegan, but for the past, so I'll explain this in a whole nother video, but I was having some digestive issues, long story short. Last summer I became a vegetarian and then over the past four months I've been totally vegan. But lately um, I've been kind of incorporating some animal products back in and I will explain this in a whole nother video, but for now I'm going to go to work and then when I get home, I might eat a snack before I have a client. I'm also a personal trainer, and then it'll fuel me for my workout, which I'll do after my client. Probably just gonna have a bagel, but I'll let you know. And then when I get home from my workout, I'll obviously have something high protein. So we'll see ya in about, oh, that's so depressing, at least eight hours. Bye. Wow. Hello, please just ignore how beautiful I look right now. Let's get some better lighting. I need to mess with the settings on this camera. I bet I can make myself look better. 
But, so I almost forgot to show you guys what I'm eating for dinner. I don't think I've picked up the camera in 12 hours since like 8.30 this morning. Um, so I went to work, I came home, I had my client, and then I worked out myself. So I just finished leg day and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating. So, like I said, I almost devoured it all, but I have like a medium sized sweet potato, a Beyond Beef burger with a slice of cheese on top, and some spinach sauteed. And you know when you saute spinach, you can start with like a huge overflowing pile in the pan and then it comes down to this. So I just sauteed it in a little bit of salt and pepper and garlic powder and I'll probably put a little bit of butter spray on there and this is going to be my meal. I haven't figured out the calories yet, but I will let you guys know. All right, so I just wrote it out. So the burger I had, it was 270 calories, the cheese 60 and the sweet potato was 100. And I found the burger and the cheese on the nutrition label obviously, but sweet potato I just Googled how much, how many calories in one medium sweet potato. Um, and I've been doing this for long enough that I know if it's accurate or not. So here's what I'm having for dinner and I'll end up at 1800 calories for the day. And I may eat something else. I have bagels and I really kind of want one, but I'll see how I'm feeling. Usually I stop eating around eight, not like a rule or anything, but that's just how the pattern seems to be. So we'll see if I'm hungry after this, I doubt it, but that could be it. If I eat anything else, I'll show you guys, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.